and the Central Plains as well. This is going to be the action for tonight. Tomorrow, this will shift a little bit more north into the northern and central part of the United States. But again, we're not completely out of the area of risk zone throughout Texas, parts of Louisiana, even stretching over towards Mississippi. So something that we're going to continue to track throughout tomorrow. Our weather risk outlook continues to showcase a lot of heat, also elevated fire risk. We're actually starting to dive a little bit deeper into that, and we'll detail that in just a moment. Wednesday, our temperatures increase. Thursday, we include the winds with that. That's going to bump up that fire risk to some of the highest that we've seen all so, uh, season so far. Friday, moderate heat risk. Now, Saturday, we start to cool, but it's still going to be above average, so we're enjoying this Tuesday afternoon as we look out to the Big Mountain backyard. Right now we're holding in the 80s throughout the valley with sunny skies. Still sunny at Tahoe. 68 degrees our sunset at 822. Sacramento hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. We'll start the day off in the 50s, but we're going to jump up into the 80s pretty quickly here by noontime. And then we're in the mid to upper 80s throughout much of the afternoon. We'll Stay right around the upper 80s to near 90 for tomorrow. Still above average, but as we start to pick up these northwest winds, that's going to uh, bump those temperatures up even more so on Thursday. As you can see, quite gusty during the morning on Thursday. Now, they will start to back off a little bit during the afternoon, but not as much of a southwest component as we would like to see. So, unfortunately, our humidity will be low. We're going to see those occasional gusty winds and warmer temperatures. So now we're in this moderate risk zone for fire potential for our Thursday. A little bit lower for the northern San Joaquin Valley and over towards Clear Lake and parts of Lake and Napa counties. But our grasses are really starting to dry out here. As you can see, those fuels starting to enter into a territory that could mean a little bit more in the rapid fire growth. And that's what we're going to be tracking for our Thursday in particular because of this weather setup right here. Breezy weather for Thursday. It's a short duration event. At least that's the good news in this. But right after we get through that, we're into some big heat on Friday. Now, the catch is we lean much warmer into the first week of June. We've got our first 100s in our 10-day forecast. Our highs tomorrow near 70 for the Sierra, 70s and 80s for the foothills with highs in the 70s across the coast. We're driving those warmer temperatures inland. We're back near 90 region wide and we'll see that pretty much through our five day forecast. Now we'll get a little bit of relief over the weekend, still above average, but there we have it. Oh, there it is. I can't believe this is the last week of May. Where the time go? Year is flying by, isn't it? <laughs> yes. And summer is making a presence in that 10-day forecast. With the 100s there yes. on the board. <laughs> California weather is a land of extremes. From dangerous heat, droughts, and wildfire. To severe storms, flooding, and mountains of snow. Plus, the occasional tornado. Keeping you prepared takes a team. We have decades of experience forecasting this diverse region. Our job doesn't stop at the forecast. We investigate what's happening to our climate so you can be ready. Helping you prepare for today and stay safe tomorrow with a weather team you can trust only on ABC 10. Hi, I'm Alex Bell. Join me weeknights at 630 on To The Point. Instead of just reporting on the problems, we cut through the noise and look for solutions. We're not afraid to investigate local stories. We're not afraid to include different perspectives. We're not afraid to hold those in power accountable. This is your community and it's my community too. And we're here to make it better for everyone. Join me, Alex Bell, on To The Point, weeknights at 6.30, only on ABC 10.